What I'd like to talk about is leadership in an organization um, that deals in high-risk activities. Now, having been with NASA for 16 years, and previous to that in the Air Force for 13 years, we'd always talk about, you know, leadership classes and the, and the uh, I would say, the uh, classic leadership principles. And there's three of them that we always operate under. Knowledge of your job, dealing with people, integrity. I'm just going to briefly talk about those three things, and then we'll talk about some lessons learned. Okay, knowledge of your job. How important is that for a leader? It is extremely important in an organization that does high-risk activities. Um, as the commander of a space shuttle, I have got to know as much as I possibly can about how the space shuttle operates. It, you know, I, I fly the rendezvous, I make the landing, I lead the crew. Um, I have got to know how every system on that shuttle works because you never know when something is going to break. So I'm also married and I'm a mother of two, so the time that I have always had to study and learn has been very limited. So I take advantage of every, um, every second that I have. I'm always studying if I'm not busy doing something else. You know, you work 10 to 12 hour days, you study during your classes, your simulators. I would make notes when I was, I take them with me when I go jogging took them with me when I pushed the kids in the stroller, had them in the car. Um, I would study when I was stuck in Houston traffic, and all kinds of creative things that I would do because I never knew that maybe that little tidbit I learned on the hydraulic system, the main engines, the computers, um, the jets, you name it. Any little tidbit that I know could save the mission or could save our lives. And I also had to encourage my crew to do the same thing. So we'd have these little contests where we'd quiz each other and uh, try to motivate them to, to be studying. Because no matter how much you know, there's always more. So knowledge of your job. Uh, the next is working with people. I think we all know enough about this, how important it is to work with people, know their jobs, know their names. And you have hundreds of people that work for you. And one of the first things you have to do as a manager is go out and learn their names and don't forget their names. Um, I had a little technique where I'd write their names down in a book and something about them. Um, but it also helps to know where their talents are because these organization changes and you need to bring in new talent. It's good to know uh, which people you can draw from. Helps to know, are they married? Um, do they have children? What are their spouse's names, their children's names? And all these little um, I would say extras uh, really help, I, I find, with the teamwork in an organization. And finally, integrity. Um, you know, we all see the examples on, on, in the news on where integrity breaks down in organizations. You rarely see examples on where integrity is working. But I can say that I've had many, many uh, good role models in both the Air Force and at NASA on people of integrity, meaning Obviously, they're, they're honest people, but when they make a decision, you know why they're motivated in their decision. They're motivated for the mission of the organization. They're motivated for the team. They're not motivated by their next job or, or what's in it for them. In, in, along with integrity, maybe a word on fairness. I, I don't really talk about trying to make things fair because I don't think you can ever make everything fair. When I came into the astronaut office, my, there was a class of 23 of us, and our boss you know, sat us down and gave us our little welcome to the astronaut office talk, and you know, talked about these things to us, but he said, I, I can't make things fair. You need to know that today, right up front. I have 23 of you. One or two of you is gonna fly first, and one or two of you is gonna fly last. If you fly last, it doesn't reflect on your ability as an astronaut. It just is the where I had to fit you in with the crew assignments. And he was very upfront with us on that. And I think that that was good for our teamwork because it really decreased, if not eliminated, the competition that we had among each other as to who was going to fly first. And that can be something, I think, that just by the boss going in and saying, I can't make it fair, but I care about every one of you, and and you will get to fly someday. So, you know, those are just a few examples of so what I call the classic leadership principles. 